government simply live within its means? Why can't you guys simply spend what you take in every single month, which I've heard is around $200 billion a month? Thank you, David. Okay, David, let me ask you. You talked about the Fed. Yes, I did ask Bernanke where the trillions of dollars went. He said he refused, he refused to tell me. We introduced legislation to make him tell me. That legislation was included uh, in the financial reform bill, and eventually that came out. And that was just what I was talking about a moment ago. Three trillion dollars going to every financial institution large in this country, many large corporations, many individuals as well. In terms of spending within our means, uh, yes, I agree with you. I ran a city for eight years. We took in money. We spent uh, the same amount as we took in. We had a balanced budget. Should we be doing that? Yeah. But when you're in the midst of a recession and you have a whole lot of people who are hurting, there are investments that you have to make. Uh, it is wrong, in my view, to say that uh, we should be throwing hundreds of thousands of kids off of Head Start for one example of, of many. So to answer your question is that a budget is two things. It is spending. It is bringing in revenue. I do believe, as I said a number of times this morning, it is absurd to give tax breaks to people who don't need it and then cut back on programs for people who are desperately dependent upon those programs. Senator Bernie Sanders, independent from Vermont, and out with a new book from his speech on December the 10th that we covered on C-SPAN 2, The Speech, a historic filibuster on corporate greed and the decline of our middle class. Thanks, as always, for being with us. Good to be with you. Appreciate your time.